a delaval nozzle is a tube that is pinched in the middle, making a carefully balanced, asymmetric hourglass shape. It is used to accelerate a hot, pressurized gas passing through it to a higher speed in the axial direction, by converting the heat energy of the flow into kinetic energy. Because of this, the nozzle is widely used in some types of steam turbines and rocket engine nozzles. It also sees use in supersonic jet engines. Similar flow properties have been applied to jet streams within astrophysics. History The nozzle was developed by Swedish inventor Gustav de Laval in 1888 for use on a steam turbine. This principle was first used in a rocket engine by Robert Goddard. Very nearly all modern rocket engines that employ hot gas combustion use de Laval nozzles. Operation its operation relies on the different properties of gases flowing at subsonic and supersonic speeds. The speed of a subsonic flow of gas will increase if the pipe carrying it narrows because the mass flow rate is constant. The gas flow through a de Laval nozzle is isentropic. In a subsonic flow the gas is compressible, and sound will propagate through it. At the throat, where the cross-sectional area is at its minimum, the gas velocity locally becomes sonic a condition called choked flow. As the nozzle cross-sectional area increases, the gas begins to expand, and the gas flow increases to supersonic velocities, where a sound wave will not propagate backwards through the gases viewed in the frame of reference of the nozzle. Conditions for operation, a de Laval nozzle will only choke at the throat if the pressure and mass flow through the nozzle is sufficient to reach sonic speeds, otherwise no supersonic flow is achieved and it will act as a venturi tube. This requires the entry pressure to the nozzle to be significantly above ambient at all times. In addition, the pressure of the gas at the exit of the expansion portion of the exhaust of a nozzle must not be too low. Because pressure cannot travel upstream through the supersonic flow, the exit pressure can be significantly below the ambient pressure into which it exhausts, but if it is too far below ambient, then the flow will cease to be supersonic, or the flow will separate within the expansion portion of the nozzle, forming an unstable jet that may flop around within the nozzle, producing a lateral thrust and possibly damaging it. In practice, ambient pressure must be no higher than roughly 2 euro 3 times the pressure in the supersonic gas at the exit for supersonic flow to leave the nozzle. Analysis of gas flow in de Laval nozzles The analysis of gas flow through de Laval nozzles involves a number of concepts and assumptions, for simplicity, the gas is assumed to be an ideal gas. The gas flow is isentropic. As a result the flow is reversible, and adiabatic. The gas flow is constant during the period of the propellant burn. The gas flow is along a straight line from gas inlet to exhaust gas exit. The gas flow behavior is compressible since the flow is at very high velocities. Exhaust gas velocity, as the gas enters a nozzle, it is moving at subsonic velocities. As the throat contracts, the gas is forced to accelerate until at the nozzle throat, where the cross-sectional area is the smallest, the axial velocity becomes sonic. From the throat the cross-sectional area then increases, the gas expands and the axial velocity becomes progressively more supersonic. The linear velocity of the exiting exhaust gases can be calculated using the following equation. Some typical values of the exhaust gas velocity bay for rocket engines burning various propellants are, 1,700 to 2,900 meters per second for liquid monopropellants, 2,900 to 4,500 meters per second for liquid bipropellants, 2,100 to 3,200 meters per second for solid propellants. As a note of interest. VE is sometimes referred to as the ideal exhaust gas velocity because it based on the assumption that the exhaust gas behaves as an ideal gas. As an example calculation using the above equation, assume that the propellant combustion gases are, at an absolute pressure entering the nozzle P equals 7.0 Ampa and exit the rocket exhaust at an absolute pressure P equals 0 0.1 Ampa. At an absolute temperature of T equals 3500 kelvins. With an isentropic expansion factor I cubed equals 1.22 and a molar mass m equals 22 kg mol. Using those values in the above equation yields an exhaust velocity V equals 2802 meters per second, or 2.80 km per second, which is consistent with above typical values.
the technical literature can be very confusing because many authors fail to explain whether they are using the universal gas law constant R, which applies to any ideal gas, or whether they are using the gas law constant Rs, which only applies to a specific individual gas. The relationship between the two constants is Rs equals Rm. See also, Choked Flow, Giovanni Battista Venturi, Gustave de Laval, History of the Internal Combustion Engine, Nozzle, Rocket Engine, Rocket Engine Nozzles, Spacecraft Propulsion, Twister Supersonic Separator for Natural Gas Treatment, Venturi Tube, Venturi Effect, Isentropic Nozzle Flow, Daniel Bernoulli. References C. J. Clark and B. Carswell. Principles of Astrophysical Fluid Dynamics. Cambridge University Press. Pages 226. ISBN 978-0-521-85331-6. British Patent 7143 of 1889. Theodore Stevens and Henry M. Hobart. Steam Turbine Engineering. Macmillan Company pages 24 a Euro 27. Available online here in Google Books. Robert M. Nielsen. The Steam Turbine. Longmans, Green, and Company pages 102 a Euro 103. Available online here in Google Books. Garrett Scaife. From Galaxies to Turbines, Science, Technology, and the Parsons Family. Taylor and Francis Group. Pages 197. Available online here in Google Books. Richard Knacker's Equation 12. Robert Bray Earnings Equation 1.22. George P. Sutton. Rocket Propulsion Elements, An Introduction to the Engineering of Rockets. Wiley into Science. Pages 636. ISBN 0-471-52938-9.